In this video, what we are going to be breaking down are a couple of different basketball drills that you can do with a partner that can be a lot of fun. And of course, that can help you either finish at the rim with contact or be able to finish a shot with a defender in your face. So let's get down, let's check this out, hit that like button, subscribe and comment down below and say good job to Jacob and Connor. Okay, so in this first drill, what we are basically doing is a little bit of ball control at the beginning. We're going over top of a hurdle and then we are doing a behind the back pass. The reason why we are doing a behind the back pass is again for a little bit for ball control. And of course, it's always great to be able to pass in any kind of situation and to be able to have the ball control to do a behind the back pass. A hard one with one bounce is extremely important. It's really going to change how you pass the ball because now you're going to gain accuracy that you normally wouldn't have. And then when you are attacking the basket, you touch that pylon. Why are we touching the pylon? Well, we are touching the pylon because that is roughly where our defenders will probably be hitting us. Uh, see, when you're in a game, a defender sees you cutting, they should hit you hard. Nobody wants you to cut to the basket. So you need to dip your shoulder. You need to be able to get down low so you have leverage to lift that defender up or onto their heels so that now when you do get to that basket and get that layup, you should have a comfortable distance between yourself and your defender. This is a fantastic drill that you can run with players of all ages. And Jacob and Connor are you 11 players so this is absolutely fantastic to run with your basketball team or of course with your friends this is just a slow motion and of course we are doing this both on the right as well as left side of the basket we really want to work on our layups on both sides that's very important next we're going to be doing a spin move with a pad now most of the time during our training session, I was the one with the pad. However, for the video, I had them switch in and out with the, the pad. Again, this is going to help us be able to finish with contact. And of course, if you've got two players, there's nothing more fun than one player trying to hit the other one while they're going for a layup. It's a ton of fun, especially for players who are really good friends like Connor and Jacob are. Now this next drill is a defensive shuffle to half and back. However, they are going to be dribbling the basketball and tossing a tennis ball between each other. The idea here is to help and work on coordination while catching the basketball and dribbling a basketball and of course keeping their head up while focusing on a tennis ball while they're passing the tennis ball back and forth between each other. Something that a lot of young basketball players really need to focus on is the ability to dribble the basketball and keep their head up. Also, the ability to multitask at the same time. And what I mean by that is being able to dribble the ball and focusing on another task. For example, focusing on defenders who are in the way and who they should be able to pass to. This is a fantastic drill and of course can help with those skills. This next drill is fantastic and essentially what we are doing is scissor dribbling and then when I say go, that player has to attack the defender and try to score a layup. The defender is obviously going to try and get and stay in front of the ball handler so that that ball handler has a hard time on trying to finish. This is a great drill that you can run with two or more players and of course the whole goal is to try and finish with contact and obviously also be quick enough to get past the defender who is trying to cut off the ball handler this drill is another fantastic drill that you can use essentially you've got a player who's at the elbow he passes to the player who is in the corner and then he has to touch the pylon where the where that player is who he passed to and then that player who receives that ball has to go and attack the rim this defender now has to try and recover quick enough to stop that layup from happening you can do this on both sides of the court. And of course, what this is teaching is recovery defense on the, 
on that player, but also it's really teaching that offensive player to get to the rim much faster. Now, this is the exact same drill, but what we are going for now is a jump shot. And what we are really working on here is our ability for that defender to recover in time and to try and block the shot without gathering a foul. At the same time, that offensive player is trying to get that shot off before that defensive player blocks their shot. This is really going to help the offensive player shoot with a contested shot, but also it's going to help the defense recover much faster in game. I hope that this video helps you become a better basketball player. If it does, hit that like button, subscribe, make sure to comment down below for Connor and Jacob and let them know that they did a fantastic job today because it was a very, very hot day outside. Anyways, I hope to see you guys again in my next video.